We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And today we've got a raw food recipe. Angela is copying somebody's recipe because she likes it. Chia sauerkraut cookies? No, crackers? All right. Lava. So we had some of Amy's curry kraut chia crackers sent down here and they were so good. It was ridiculous. So I finished them and then I, I like want more and we live in South America, so I can't just easily get a hold of them. The postal service here is kind of random, and so I decided I'm going to try and make my own based on the ingredients from Amy. Thank you, Amy, for sharing your amazing creations with the world. So I don't have all the ingredients that she seems to use, but I'm going to just improvise using what we do have here. So they're curry, sauerkraut, chia crackers and they're so good like if you're in north america or somewhere you can easily just get a hold of some of these from amy's i would totally do it um so what i'm gonna do is first i'm gonna grind down some chia and some sprouted almonds to make the kind of dough so i've never done this before Total experiment. Could turn out really nice. Could be disgusting. I'm sure Amy has her tricks that would be good to know about. But for now, I'm just going to grind down some chia and some almonds and we'll start. You don't need to use almonds that have already been soaked and sprouted by somebody else like this. That's just what we happen to have because I decided I want to make some right now. And we didn't have any soaked and sprouted by ourselves. So you could just do that for yourself. And I'm going to throw these ground down seeds and nuts into this big mixing bowl. Okay. Before we continue on with this boring recipe, Baba. how many times have you seen a blender go and stuff come out of a blender? Okay, just to spice up this lovely recipe that we're doing right now, I'm going to show you our horse that came inside the other day. Check it out. There's a horse in the house. What happened, babe? The doors were open to bring in some new stuff and the cheese is designed to come in Luchita! Yep, that was Luchita. Lucy. I call her Caroline from the movie with the buttons, the cartoon. Alright, here we go. And back to the recipe. Baba! Alright, so there's the ground down chia and almonds. And now I'm just going to throw in the other ingredients it all together by hand so you know I have no idea how Amy does it but this is the solution that seems to be presenting itself she uses Frankie G's curry spice blend which, which we have of course is her son-in-law 
Mr. Frankie G. And I love the, all of his spice friends. This one especially. So beautiful. Um, so I'm going to throw in some amount of that. There's no amounts today because it's all an experiment. Maybe like a tablespoon or something. There's never any amounts. I'm going to put in some extra salt. There is actually some salt already in Frankie's spice blends, most of them. But I'm going to add in a little bit extra sea salt. Or some extra flavor. And then the sauerkraut that Amy uses apparently has dill and caraway seeds in it, which I'm sure contributes a huge amount to the flavoring. We don't have caraway here. I'm going to throw in some fresh dill that I just got from the garden and just chopped it up really small. And hope that that does something similar with the flavoring. And then sauerkraut. I absolutely love sauerkraut. And this is this is the magical ingredient in these crackers. This is this is something new that people started using use, starting to use in crackers, which is fermented foods. It takes it to a whole new level, isn't that right, babe? I would say so. Our friends brought over a jar of kimchi the other day. It was amazing. I want to learn how to make kimchi. I've never done that. I guess it's not really that different to sauerkraut. But if any of you guys have any treasured recipes for kimchi or links for great kimchi recipes on YouTube or something, then do share. And so I'm just going to mix this together like this. I'm thinking some water would be an appropriate addition right now as well. It's a little bit random. So I'm going to throw in a bit of agua, which of course the chia will absorb and like. And I'm just going to mix it together like this, throw it on a dehydrator tray, dehydrate it and see what happens. It's all an experiment. So do we just end it here or what? No, we're going to come back tomorrow and see how they are, Bubba, isn't it? Maybe we could do another interview, TV show. What do you mean? All right, we'll be back in a second. Wow. All right. This is pretty cool, I have to admit. Check it out. I squished it all out on the dehydrator tray. It looks very nice, no? Wow. I'm gonna throw it in the dehydrator and we'll come back and see you tomorrow. Okay, the final end result of the Chia Kraut Crackers. <laughs> Been in here a day. I flipped it over so that it could dry well on both sides. Super dry. Give it a try. Wow, it's more or less the same consistency as Amy's, a little bit harder. Well, you just copied her recipe. Doesn't taste as good as Amy's, though. They're rubbish, I knew it! They're good. Mmm. Because, like, oh, they're really good, actually. Um, feels like you could have done with a bit more salt. For my taste buds. I still get Amy's over these, but it's good. Fun experiment. And who do we got there? Angela Stokes Monarch. And a slab of Yummer's crackers. And Matt Monarch, and we'll see you again next time at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.